I use my friends to inspire me as well. And I use people around me, like the Wolf Foundation. They've helped me as well. The Civil Regis program has helped me as well to inspire me and take me on a different path to what I was going to be. Um, so my inspirational person is Pele, and uh, he's a footballer, well, an ex-footballer. Through many years of racism, he still played football and he's, and he's inspired many children and players around the world. Michael Jordan plays basketball. Of course, yeah. I followed this man from time. This man's going point like, oh, you know, like that. Mine's Martin Luther King because it's helped others to really know about black people and show what's going on with racism. Throughout everything he does in life, he he smiles through it. That's what I've taken from it because that's what me and my family do. We, we smile through everything, anything good or bad. I've learned to see the better side of it. When I watched this speech, I thought, wow, this is a really powerful message. If I see racist people, I tell them, ah, oh, have you watched this? You need to learn about Martin Luther King because what he tells is real facts. And I've looked for different ways to inspire myself, like for example, Taylor, like I said. I use my friends to inspire me as well, and I use people around me, like the Wolf Foundation, they've helped me as well. The Civil Regis program has helped me as well to inspire me and take me on a different path to what I was going to be. If I feel someone's coming, being racist towards me, then I know uh, what you're doing. I talk to them and say, you should never say that to someone. If you want to keep your thoughts, keep your thoughts to yourself. Uh, I've been bullied, I've been chopped around, all of that. No one cared to be saying the N word and all of that. I don't care, but obviously I had to live through that my whole life from moving to different places and places. So obviously now I'm back here. Back proud and loud. So, how do you cope with it when that sort of thing I'll happens? Cope with it. Yeah. Um, I told my friends to play football and it gets off my mind. Sometimes basketball as well. As soon as my parents started helping me get into these groups, like included with the right people, I went to a school where there wasn't many black people, so I felt left out. So as soon as I started getting in with those people and learning who I am and to be in those groups while I know who I am, that's when I started to become who I am now. It's very important to highlight Black History Month because Black lives have been suppressed for many years and to highlight it is very good because it allows people that have been feeling like suppressed, like as I said, to open up and feel like people are supporting them, people are with them. Other people come to school just to explain what it is in the 70s and so I think that's a really good thing. Actually great to be honest, uh, we need to get recognised for the things we've done for the past from you know, to future on, getting on and on. Future starts coming through in it. Black Lives Matter is one of the most important movements because as you know many different races joining up to help each other and that's great to see because the more races there shows that they have that we have support. It's about like joining a community together and helping everyone understand how much our lives matter just like other lives matter as well. There's a lot of people that's actually showed commitment towards it. Plus Police brutality is a bad thing right now and it's actually very easy to see that people are coming together and showing what's going on. It's key, it's probably one of the most important things in me to be honest, highlight here.